talking about it on Instagram. Now, I'm all for human rights. And if you remember, when people were murdered in Paris, we rose up as a nation, as people, and we all had the Paris flag on. Black people are being enslaved. Black people yourself, wake up. This is our third generation. What are we going to say to our children when they ask us what is happening? What are we going to say? We're slaves again and people are just going to stay at home and you're happy with your lot? Wake up. Black people, white people, this is a humanitarian cause. Something has to be done. Black men are being shackled like Kunta Kinte. This is not a joke. This is Kunta Kinte. We have to relive it again. It's not a farce. Can you please post it on Facebook? We have to talk about it. Talk about it in our communities. And we have to let the world know. We are not going to stand for slavery. Nobody's going to stand for slavery. As a human race, we are not going to stand for slavery. And we want the world to know. We are not going to accept it. This goes and is a violation of human rights. It needs to be debated in Parliament. We are not going to... But it's killing people, everybody's like, you know, eating each other, you know, because they brought the guns there. But who's going to wipe them? Take the guns away. Nobody. You know, slavery is happening. 21, 21st century. You know, it's unacceptable. Guys. So, so if we can just narrow that down, summarize, summarize that to two points. That's immediate corrective action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Criminal um, court and and also, um, you know, compensation to the victims so that when they go home and that they've, they've got something to do. And then more on the, so they after the immediate corrective action. Um, we also, what we also want to do is representatives of our organisation to observe this process as it continues. So representatives to go and see. Well, as I know that, I mean, because there's supposed to be 50,000 flights go back uh, this, this, just this month. To yeah. Take people back, repatriate. Yeah. So yeah. I believe, I'm not sure, but I believe there is an EU fund that's actually helping them uh, rebuild these other things. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I think it's, 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 it's derisory compared to the scale of the problem. Well, I don't, but yeah, we're I don't talking. Sorry, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I, I know it's better than nothing. I know, I know, yeah, the, cost yeah, of, I know the cost yeah. that they're paying the human traffickers in the first place. Yes, yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah. People like human traffickers, they yeah. have to be brought to the yeah. international criminal. Yeah. You, you know, this yeah. is not, a, this, you know, we, we, we are indiscriminate about who, whoever's perpetrating this crime has to go, whether it's the Arabs or African human traffickers, all of them have to be brought to the international criminal court and so that this can be stopped. This thing has to be stopped once and for all. And the last point to make to the, to the parliament is that um, um, we've seen, I, I, will, I, I demonstrated on three marches for Iraq and Tony Blair ignored all of them and the legacy, if anybody wants a politician's legacy like Tony Blair, continue down this road. What this country needs to do now is win the confidence of the world to say, okay, we made a mistake, we had good intentions, you know, tell us, we had good intentions, we went in there with good intentions, but you know what, we're going to put this right, we're going we're gonna to fix this problem. We, 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 we understand that we went in there with good intentions, it didn't work out, we're going to war in Iraq, it's furious war in Iraq, they, the country's reputation has never re re recovered. So, no, I, I, yeah, I do yeah, need to get yeah. about yeah. refugees in Berlin.